Hello fellow bookworms. Today we'll be reading Children Make Terrible Pets by Peter Brown. In this story, Lucy the bear tries to adopt a small child and, well, all mayhem breaks loose after that. Let's find out how this all plays out. One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hello, who's there? I can smell you behind those bushes, so just come out. Squeak. When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. Oh my gosh! You are the cutest critter in the whole forest! Squeak. So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom, look what I found outside. I can, I'll call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak. See, isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him, please? Lucy Beatrice Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Oh, come on, Mom. Look how sweet he is. You won't be any trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Oh, all right, you can keep him on one condition. Squeaker is your responsibility. I will not take care of him for you. Thanks, Mom. Squeaker is going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. They played together. They ate together. <laughs> they napped together. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together, but it wasn't all fun and games. He was impossible to potty train. Squeak. Squeak! He ruined the furniture. He caused problems wherever he went. We don't throw food at tea parties. Squeak! And just when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse, Squeaker disappeared. Squeaker? Here, Squeaker! Lucy checked the usual hiding spots, but her pet was nowhere to be found. Come here, boy! Squeaker! Squeaker! Where are you? Snip, snip. Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of her squeaker. Lucy followed squeaker's scent this way and that across the entire forest until finally she found squeaker. But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Lucy knew what she had to do. Goodbye, Squeaker. Squeak, 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 woof. Squeaker belongs with his family. I guess some critters just aren't meant to be pets. I'm really going to miss that little fella. Maybe it's all for the best. Lucy had a lot to think about on her work home. The day Lucy had learned one very valuable lesson. You were right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. They really are the worst. The end. The 
story of a bear and a boy. Wow, did you enjoy that story? Were you able to read along? Look for this fun book and many others at your local library, or check out the description below to learn more. Subscribe to our channel to become a Read Along Book Club member, and hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Well, until next time...